Walder Zing sh Sheldon. No, it's Walder Ming Zit Sheldon. Walder Ming Zit sh Sheldon. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> That's what you did. I assumed as in a number of languages that the gesture was part of the phrase. Well, it's not. Why am I supposed to know that? As the teacher, it's your obligation to separate your personal idiosyncrasies from the subject matter. You know, I'm really glad you decided to learn Mandarin. Why? Once you're fluent, you'll have a billion more people to annoy instead of me. <laughs> hey, Medu Luiza. You just called Leonard a syphilitic donkey. <laughs> my apologies, Leonard. I'm only as good as my teacher. Why are you learning Chinese? I believe the Szechuan Palace has been passing off orange chicken as tangerine chicken, and I intend to confront them. If I were you, I'd be more concerned about what they're passing off as chicken. I need to use your window. Oh, hey, yeah, no, sure, go ahead. Hey, jerkfish, you forgot your iPod! What's going on? Oh, I'll tell you what's going on. That stupid, self-centered bastard wrote about our sex life in his blog. Drop dead, you stupid self-centered bastard! Thank you. Okay, where were we? Not now, I have a blog to find. Penny, are you okay? Look, I understand that breaking up with someone can be very painful, Go so if you want... Okay, feel better, bye. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk. Not surprising. Penny's emotional responses originate in the primitive portion of the brain known as the amygdala, while speech is centered in the much more recently developed neocortex. The former can easily overpower the latter, giving scientific credence to the notion of being rendered speechless. <laughs> Maybe she just doesn't want to talk. Hey, look, I found an iPod. It smashed beyond repair. What are you going to do with it? What else? Sell it on eBay. It's slightly used. It was Penny's boyfriends. They broke up. Apparently, he posted intimate details of their physical relationship on his blog, which I cannot find anywhere. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna go back and try talking to her again. Good idea. Sit with her, hold her, comfort her. And if the moment feels right, see if you can cop a feel. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, Howard. I'm not aware of any social convention that requires you to intervene at all. What about damsel in distress? 12th century code of chivalry? Not exactly current. <laughs> You'd also have to be knighted for that to apply. <laughs> I don't care. She's upset. I'm going over there. Remember to sit on your hands a bit so they're warm. <laughs> I'm her friend. I'm not going to take advantage of her vulnerability. So you're saying if in the depths of despair she throws herself at you and demands you take her right there, right now, you'll just walk away? I said I'm her friend, not her gay friend. 